to Hero Power Workshop 2.0 Module 1 Streamline the User Experience User Authentication and Duo Single Sign On. So, Duo Single Sign On is a cloud hosted security assertion markup language 2.0 identity provider that secures access to cloud applications with your users' existing credentials, like Microsoft Active Directory or Google Apps accounts. SAML delegates authentication from a service provider to an identity provider and is used for single sign-on solutions or SSO. Dual single sign-on allows you to use Active Directory or a SAML identity provider as a first factor authentication source. We will be configuring Active Directory as our first factor authentication and we'll be using dual authentication proxy to facilitate that communication. Now, there's a nice diagram here at the bottom that shows you Duo, it shows you a firewall, your Duo authentication proxy, and Active Directory and the communication between them. All right, let's get started here. We're gonna jump right away into the Duo admin console. We're gonna go to single sign-on. We're gonna give that checkbox a, a check to say that we've read and understood the Duo hosted SSO updates, and we'll activate and start the setup. So we'll go ahead and click that. And the first thing we need to do is add a subdomain. This should be unique and tailored to your company's brand. Once you're good here, go ahead and hit confirm and we're ready to rock and roll. Now let's go ahead and add an Active Directory in our case. And we're gonna go ahead and add an authentication proxy. Let's go ahead and do that. Now from here, we're gonna grab the add SSO section and service account credentials. And this is what we're gonna enter when we do the installation of the auth proxy. So let's go ahead and copy that now. Let's go ahead and jump into our system. And let's go ahead and run the dual auth proxy installation here. We'll go next, next. We'll let that installation complete. Go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna go ahead and remove everything in the auth proxy.cfg and we're gonna paste in the SSO details that we just pulled from the config. We'll go ahead and hit save and save and continue and you can see here we could start and stop service if we want to but let's go ahead and move on to the next step here now the next thing is is copy the following command with admin permissions and go ahead and run this so let's go ahead and do that now we've copied it let's open up a command prompt go ahead and paste that in Hit enter and you can see it's going to start and stop the auth proxy as well. All right. Now, just to be clear here, this unique command identifies this specific authentication proxy to Duo and cycles the service. You can't use this on other proxies and this, this command actually expires within eight hours of being generated. All right. So go ahead and run the test. If everything looks good, we should see and we do connect it to dual. Let's return to the configuration. Everything looks good here. Now let's go ahead and enter our domain controller. IP address or host name here. And we're using port 389. Go ahead and put our in our distinguished name DC equals D cloud comma DC equals local and authentication type integrated we're using clear text because it's a lab environment let's scroll down a little bit further now let's go ahead and add our email domain in in here this is dc-01.com and we can save Go back to the single sign-on page. We can see that it's Active Directory. It's enabled. 
a dedication proxy. That's it. Yeah.